Hi everyone, Felix here, Advanced Clinical Practitioner with Eden Clinic. Today we're going to be looking at Tadalafil and its role in testosterone replacement. So what is Tadalafil exactly? Well, Tadalafil is a medication that's primary use lies within the realms of erectile dysfunction. You probably have heard of Tadalafil before because it's more commonly known by a proprietary brand name called Cialis or Cialis. In the context of TRT, however, often the primary use of this drug is not really for erectile dysfunction. However, that's not to say that this is not a positive benefit that is observed when using it in the context of TRT. So what exactly is Tadalafil and how can it benefit patients when used as an additional therapy alongside our TRT? So Tadalafil is a medication which comes under the class of selective PDE5 inhibitors. It's in the same class of drug as a much more commonly known drug used for erectile dysfunction named Sildenafil, which is more commonly known as Viagra, which I think most people have heard of. So how do these drugs work? To understand that, we need to dig into biochemistry to understand the physiology. And as with most of my videos, there's going to be a bit of a geeky talk section and we'll dive right into that now. So PDE5 stands for phosphodiesterase 5. So what is PDE5? Well, PDE5 is an enzyme that is found within the walls of the blood vessels and its role is to affect blood flow and cell signaling. It inhibits cyclic guanosine monophosphate or CGMP. CGMP is a very common cell signaling substance that regulates ion channel conductance. Now this inhibition causes a relaxation of blood vessels which increases blood flow and we call that in medical terms vasodilation. Now, Whilst we're on the subject of the pharmacology of Tadalafil, we need to talk about its safe use. Tadalafil is a prescription-only medication that should only ever be taken when provided by a qualified prescribing clinician. One of the main reasons for this is that with nearly all medications, they're subjected to metabolism by what is known as the P450 cytochrome system. This is a group of enzymes that play a role in the breakdown of medications through our liver. Tadalafil specifically interacts with an enzyme called CYP3A4 uh, within this P450 cytochrome. Now, this system can be inhibited and induced by certain medications, so Tadalafil must be prescribed with caution alongside any other medication that may cause inhibition or inducement of the P450 cytochrome. For example, Tadalafil should be administered with caution alongside nitrate medications. However, these are not commonly used outside of specific cardiology settings. Its concurrent administration with more common medications, such as the antibiotics erythromycin and clarithromycin, and any macrolide antibiotic, which are both CYP3A4 inhibitors, as is grapefruit juice and naringenin supplements. Uh, these will increase the plasma concentration levels of Tadalafil up to two to four fold. Now equally, certain epilepsy medications such as phenytoin, phenobarbital and carbamazepine should be avoided as these are CYP3A4 inducers and may reduce plasma concentration levels of Tadalafil by up to 88% and therefore reduce its efficacy. So, what are the benefits of using this medication as part of your TRT regimen? So the first and most obvious benefit would be the alleviation of any erectile dysfunction, which is commonly seen in those with testosterone deficiency. However, if we think back to the mechanism of action that we just talked about, just now in that little geeky section I did, the vasodilation is not restricted to the corpus cavernosum, which is the erectile tissue found within the penis. The vasodilatory effect can be found in other tissues, such as the smooth muscle of the prostate and bladder, which is beneficial to those suffering with benign prostatic hyperplasia, or more simply put, an enlarged prostate that isn't secondary to a sinister pathology. This vasodilatory effect also affects skeletal muscle, visceral muscle, and also, sorry, visceral smooth muscle, that should say, and to a lesser degree, cardiac muscle and the kidneys and liver, although those last two primarily utilise PDE1, 2 and 4 for their particular cell signaling purposes, but I digress. Uh, this, there is minimal statistical benefit of its use in the reduction in blood pressure. Uh, if you want to see more about that, you should check out uh, Dr. Andrew Wynn's channel, Man Medicine, where he did a deep dive into Tadalafil. Highly recommend that video. The studies that have been conducted in the controlled environment too, do seem to replicate this effect. However, anecdotally, it's something that a lot of our patients have reported and commensurately is something I have observed in my own clinical practice. Jury's still out on that one evidence-wise, I think. Right, I think we'll leave that there for part one because that was quite a lot of uh, geekiness in a very short space of time. If you don't want to miss part two of this video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. I'll see you in the next one.